Compliance to the dog and to everybody else. Remember, you're wearing a uh, a big old vest that says you're a dog walker and advertising you're a dog walker that everybody else out there is looking at you. And if you have a dog that's out of control on a leash and you're wearing wag swag, um, you know, that doesn't look good for, 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 for the company or you. I mean, really, you're an independent contractor. This is your business if you really think about it. You're 1099 or however that works and... Um, you know, you're your own business. So be the brand. Always be the brand. Um, so those are some pieces of advice I can give you. Um, all in all, if you're in a good market that um, WAG is really expanding and growing on and it's not saturated with a bunch of walkers, um, you can do well. Uh, but at the same time, you can do well even if you just get one or two walks a day or or every time you try, maybe out of 10 tries, you get two, two accepted walks. But if you go there, you sell yourself, you sell the brand, and you sell your professionalism, that goes a long way. And if you just say, hey, guys, look, I walk the dog a lot. I've, pro I've proved to you what we can do. When I get back to the house and I give them back their baby, I also, you know, re, re, re recommend the card and I say, my name's on there. Please select me as your preferred walker. And when they select me as the preferred walker, then before anybody else gets those leads, they give me a few seconds to decide whether I want to take that walk on again or not. Um, and, and that all goes into your walk profile. Somehow, I don't know how it works, but, um, the, some of the negatives is, yeah, if, if you're a walker and you have a problem and you call up WAG, you're not going to get a live being right away, um, but they've recognized your number, so they go ahead and they shoot back a message saying, hey, sorry, we're busy, we're on the other line, we'll call you right back, and they do, um, or they deal with everything through the text um, on the phone. So I, you know, I wish it would be when you pick up the phone, you got a human being, doesn't always work that way. Um, Let's see, any other negatives, uh, drawbacks? I mean, yeah, pay is what it is, and it varies, I'm sure, by market by market here. It's 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 okay, I, you know, for a half-hour walk, it, they'll pay X amount of dollars, and it's it's um, it's a pretty good part-time gig. Um, but if you had multiple walks, it'd be a, a really, really good part-time gig. Um, but if you're just still fighting for walks, then... I say just keep on fighting it if you're really committed to trying to grow yourself. But once you 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 show up to the property or you show up to the home and you do these other things, and I go back to being the brand, being WAG and yourself and asking to be the preferred walker, all of a sudden your schedule starts filling up with your kind of walks with the dogs you know. Now all of a sudden it's a lot easier, less stressful and more that you can count on. It, then that becomes a true win-win for everybody. It's a win-win for uh, the wag for wags for the company it's a win-win for you and it's a win-win for the client because the client can knows and trusts that the person handling their dog knows what they're doing and is going to take good care of them and that it just re-emphasizes the fact that wag is a, is a good company and it's worth referring which means eventually there's going to be more leads in the marketplace and if you do it right you give out your referral cards you get some spits off of that look it, it really can work for you but you got to be willing to hustle it so um all in all the wags experience has been a thumbs up for me um it, you know i would say on a on a scale you know on a grading scale it's not an a plus i'd probably give it a b i think there's some things that they could do to make it better um i think there's some things that uh, they should do uh that the walker should do to make their their clients walk experience better um and i hope that you do it but you know in the end it depends on whether you want to get paid or not. Yeah, WAG's going to give you a flat rate. And then that customer is going to give you a rating based off the performance that you did. And if you did a shitty job, then your rating's not going to be five stars. I hate to tell you that. And, you know, in the end, when it comes to more opportunities such as boarding and things like that um, or, or long-term walks, I'm sure all of that comes into play. Um yeah, the the software on the app is 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 always has some hiccups, and that's that I think is just technology. Um, but take the time to do what they ask you to do. Take your photos of your dog, wear your wag swag. It's gonna pay off. And then the last but not least is that sort of that report card that you file at the end. Uh, um, 
and and at the end of the walk and after you've closed out your ticket um you you type up you know you give some notes like hey where's the best parking where was the lockbox at where was this at where was that at and all those notes when you put it in there really do help out i mean if this has been a long-term wa- a wag client and you're basically typing the same information in as everybody else is you know, maybe it's not worth doing, but I always try to find one piece of information that I can add to value to help another walker. Um, and seeing as I'm a dog trainer um, and, and you know, more experienced in walking a variety of different dogs, when I do see a behavior that the dog is doing um, that could potentially be a, a problem for the next walker, I put that little piece of advice in that hey, least reactive towards other dogs. Well, great. If you're walking down the street and you see another dog, then go the other way. Don't interact. Don't try to, to, to you know, whatever, whatever it takes to be safe. So this is a philosophy that I highly recommend. Um, and, you know, if you just help enough other people get what they want, you'll get what you want. And that's that little quote down there by Zig Ziglar. It's something I believe in and I, I, I totally take to heart. Um, and, you know, that really does work. And, and that's how you can take... That's that philosophy, that saying, and implement it into your wag uh, dog walking experience um, and to help make you a better do- uh, wag dog walker and, you know, to help you make more money. And now all of a sudden, when you start averaging two or three bucks more than the next guy, you start putting that in and your hourly wage just went up. Um, so you want to make more money, earn the gravy. You know, wag will provide the meat and potatoes. But it's going to be dry as hell uh, unless you make an effort. And if you make an effort and you get some extra gravy, it makes it all the all the while worth more. Um, Wag will incentivize you to wear the, the 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 swag. And you know their customer service folks are, you know, I got to tell you, are pretty good. Um, and then if when you do have cancels or no shows or issues they're they're pretty responsive i mean they're not responsive in the sense of they'll get on the phone and answer your questions they'll, but you send a text and all that they'll do the follow-ups and they'll do everything they need to do um on their end and um you know everything's a growing process but uh as a whole i give it a thumbs up um i'd say it's a great part-time job um or uh, for extra income it beats uh sometimes it, it beats delivering pizzas and some of those other things um and if you're truly a dog a dog lover um or you're a canine professional this is a great way of honing your skills developing your skills and getting new clients for 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 dog training um now that will change eventually because i think wag is going to introduce some sort of training protocol so depending on your training philosophy you may or may not qualify for that which uh in my opinion is a bunch of bs anyways because there is no dog training style um really it's it, it comes down to just some very basic things and most of that behavior modification and correction can be done with this tool on the walk. Um, I've trained many a dogs for a client without them ever knowing it. Um, and then I always get that comment later. Well, they'll text me back. It's yeah, that night I took my, I took uh, Barlow for a walk and he just walks so much better than he normally does. And what did you do? And you're a miracle worker and all this great stuff. Five stars. They'll give me a, the biggest tip they can give me on their, on their, on the app. Um, so it, it does work for you. It's a win-win. Um, you know, this and this isn't a WAG sponsored thing. I'm not. I don't work. For, I work for WAG um, as an as a as an independent contractor. Maybe after this video, not very long. Um, but um, these are the things that I have learned. These are the things that have helped me gain a good solid five star rating. Um, these are the things that have made my job more enjoyable when I am walking dogs in shitty weather, um, cold weather. It, late at night early in the morning by doing some of these things um it has also helped me step up my game to be a better uh professional business owner in my dog training business um and it goes hand in hand um the, the i get leads not necessarily from from wag where um i reference that i am also a wag dog walker and that gives me credibility and I can say, look, you know, yeah, I'm a dog trainer and I can fix your dog and I can do a lot of it on the on the walk and all that stuff, you know, from my own private marketing stuff that I do. Um, but 
the 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 fact of the matter is is that people are getting more and more familiar with the brand wag and if they find that you're associated with it there's a little bit of credibility that goes along with it so um as the program grows they need good walkers and that's why i decided i was going to put this out because i was sick and tired of hearing about how people or how walkers were complaining really and it was through the customer it wasn't through the walker you rarely ever see another wag walker um but you'll see them complaining about this that or the other thing when really most of it is their own doing um you know they're not making the effort and then they wonder why they're not getting more calls or more leads or more walks um you got to go out there and hustle a little bit yourself but as a as a private contractor the fact that someone is paying me to go out there develop my skills to reinforce and 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 perfect my skills as a dog trainer and to uh at this present time um before it wags uh launches their dog training programs or 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 how that works um it's helping me develop my other business and so it's a win-win situation man it's a win-win for wag it's a win-win for the client and it's a win-win for you um so yeah uh be safe double leash uh be seen um and then you know what be the brand so much as you may not like doing it, they pay. They will incentivize you, and they will pay you the extra buck or whatever it is to wear this stuff. So, you know, they give it to you at a dirt cheap price. There's no reason why you shouldn't have it. You get your cards. There's an incentive to make money there. So yeah, it's a win-win situation. I'd give it as a thumbs up gig for a part-time job. Um, if you really want to hustle it, if you're trying to get into the dog training business, um, this is definitely one way of doing it. Um, you know, is. The key to dog training is get out there and work dogs. Learn how to work dogs. Study dogs. Uh, watch those videos. And um, that's how you'll become a dog professional, dog training professional. And uh, in the meantime, you become a dog uh, professional dog walker. And there's money to be had. So you either use use WAG in conjunction with, your, with what you're doing or you use this as a step up. But either way, it's a win-win-win for everybody involved uh, if you just follow a couple of those tips. So, um, yeah, thumbs up. Not a show for the company, so um, you know this is just my opinion, um, and opinions everybody's got one. So uh, feel free to comment and type down below um, if you have any things that you do on your walks. That'd be cute. Cool. That'd actually be pretty cool to see. You know, what do you guys do to make the walk special for the client? Um, you know, or how do you earn your business? Because if you can share, you can help more people be successful. Um, then Wag's always going to have a good batch of solid dog walkers. We're always going to have a good solid batch of, of lead opportunities to make some money um, and uh, get out there and, and build the brand. Which in and and that brand is not just wag. It's you too. Okay, so I always tell this to the client when I'm done. The key to a happy, healthy dog is a nice structured walk. So thanks for giving me the opportunity to do that. And that's what I type in those little notes that that to the customer. I always thank them over and over again for that business because I truly do thank them and I want them to know that I'm somebody special and that um, I'm somebody that they're gonna want to use again because I made the brand look good. Because I am the brand. <laughs> Get it? Hey, guys. Thanks a lot. Uh, this is Ken checking out uh, from Tags Canine here in Las Vegas, Nevada. North Las Vegas, Nevada. If you need a, da- a dog walker, you can use my promo code. Uh, it's Kenneth5609, I believe. I'm pretty sure I've handed out enough of these cards that uh, it's uh, 5609. Here's a little WAGS card. I uh, write down the promo code, and I uh, put that information out there. So, um Good luck, guys. Enjoy your walking experience. And uh, I hope you see the benefits, uh, some of the same benefits I do. Uh, follow my channel. I'll have other dog walking stuff on or dog, dog not dog walking, but dog training tips um, that I will gear for for new, for new walkers and for, uh, for clients as well. Because I do let my clients know that I am a dog trainer and here's my site. Sorry. Um, you know, you want to walk your dog better? It's right there. Um, you know, and, and they can use and hire me for those other services should they choose to. But uh, all in all, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate uh, you listening to it. If you actually watched this entire video uh, and listening to me ramble on, then, uh, hey, we just did a walk-in this time. So I uh, uh, hope you learned something from it and make some money. Get out there and put some miles on those shoes. Thanks, guys.